The goal of this lab is to test different mitigations on the Windows kernel. More specifically, we're going to test that SMEP works as expected and that when we disable it, we can bypass it. The code that you're going to use is in the tools test SMEP folder. The first thing you're going to do is to make sure SMEP is enabled on your target Windows 10 machine. For that, you're going to run the test SMEP executable and modify the control flow once you're in the kernel mode to try to execute some memory from username and confirms it triggers the attempted execute of no execute memory exception. Next, you're going to rerun the same executable, but this time, once you're in kernel mode, you're going to modify the value of the CR4 register in order to disable SMAP. And then you're going to confirm that you can execute from a username page directly in kernel mode. Okay, it's your turn now. So the first thing you're going to have to do is to make sure test SMAP works on your target VM. As you can see, it actually shows a username buffer allocated, and then it tries to call and the NT create transactions is called. And if you run it several times, it's going to allocate a different memory address in username each time. If you look at the actual code for this test map code, you can see it's allocating some memory on the heap that is actually read, write executable. It's actually showing the address of this heap buffer in username. And then we are filling the actual buffer with 90 in hexadecimal, which is basically the NUP instruction. And at index five, we are actually inserting a CC hexadecimal value, which is a breakpoint. Then there is a call to virtual log to make sure buffer is always mapped into memory. That is to say, it's always baked by physical memory. And then there is a get char. The whole idea is to actually wait for you to hit a key before calling the syscall. The syscall here is not important. It could be any syscall. The only reason we use create transaction is because it's a syscall that is rarely used on a system. So you will actually be able to set a breakpoint on NT create transaction in WinDBG and be sure when it hits, it comes from your test SMAP binary. This is the exception that should be triggered when you try to execute from a heap address in username when you are in kernel mode. This article will give you information on where the SMAP feature is stored, more specifically into the CR4 register at bit index 20. You can also have a look at this blog that details SMAP features and how to bypass it.